Hello, hello, good afternoon. Happy Friday, TGIF. It's Naveen with Naveen's Cuisine. And today I'm planning to make some seafood kebabs. So I have here some beautiful scallops. And it's about 10 to a bag. Or you can use the smaller or bigger, whatever you like. But this bag here I got from Trader Joe's in the frozen section. And it's about 10 to 12 to a bag. Also got this beautiful shrimp. A pound of that. They are the jumbo shrimps. And um, I took the tail off. If you want it on, that's fine. And two fillets of salmon cut in cubes. And that's about 15 to 16 ounces. I'm gonna add some freshly squeezed lemon juice for the marinade. So I'm putting about five tablespoons. So let's say two large squeezable lemons with amount to that. I'm going to add some garlic powder, sea salt, if you want to add freshly chopped garlic that's fine, you can use also the um, powder, some nice freshly cracked black pepper, and I love cumin. Middle Easterns love cumin, so you can use it or not use it depending on how you like or dislike cumin. I'm just going to put a couple of dashes here. And I'm, oh, the smell of the cumin, yummy. So I'm going to mix it all together. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for about a couple of hours, maybe an hour before dinner time. I'll get it out and start skewering. Boy, am I looking forward to it. So now I'm getting the uh, vegetables that I'm going to cut up and skewer the, um, the fish with. So I have some red pepper, if you have a green pepper, or if you have a preference for the colors and... I like to make it colorful because it looks really good on the skewer. So I bought a red pepper, a yellow, and an orange. And I have about one small red onion, one small white onion. And I'm going to just get them ready. So when we're ready to skewer, just before lunch, and broil, that would be one thing less to do. So I'm cutting them about maybe an inch or so. I'm gonna put them in a container. And the pepper, I'm gonna cut it also about an inch wide. It's a little bigger, it's fine. and the yellow and the green and the orange whatever you like I'm also gonna add to the skewers cherry tomatoes you can add plum tomato or you can get just a regular tomato and cut it in inch size I'm also gonna add some mushrooms so that would be the vegetables for today maybe a side of salad maybe not um, I'm also gonna make a special rice that goes very well with the seafood kebabs. See you, Betty. Well, hello. So for tonight's dinner, we are making seafood kebabs. And I marinated all the shrimp, scallops, and salmon in lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic, and a little cumin. And I've cut up these wonderful colorful vegetables onion different colors of peppers we have mushrooms and we have cherry tomato 
and I'm going to use these lovely stainless steel skewers. Ordinarily, if the weather is nice, we put the barbecue on and do it, but tonight I'm going to just broil it in the oven and stay in nice and warm. You can use different types of skewers, but if you're going to use the bamboo skewers, you have to soak it in water overnight and then use it because it will catch on fire if you don't. So the beauty of, of this kebab is the colors of it. So we're going to use different vegetables. Let's say we're going to start with a yellow pepper. We'll put a piece of salmon and then some red onion. The secret is to have it alternating all the nice colors and um, different textures, different colors will always look nice. I'm going to put a tomato. And where are these wonderful scallops? There they are. These scallops are gorgeous. They are 10 to 12 in a packet in the frozen section of Trader Joe's. I'm going to put a mushroom. And another salmon. And how about an orange pepper? That way have all these beautiful colors. Orange and red. Yellow and the pink from the salmon. And then I'm getting this sheet pan. I'm going to organize it here. And that's the sheet pan I'm going to be using to put under the broiler. Look at these beauties. Isn't that beautiful? All the different colors on a skewer. I'm just gonna, I, I also put some of the marinade, the lemon on top of it, a little bit more. And I'm gonna do a quick black pepper sprinkle. And once the broiler is on, put it under the broiler. I'm gonna Switch it one time, and that should be ready no longer than maybe six, seven minutes on each side, max, so it doesn't get dry. 